You want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Right guys, we're going old school today. I thought I'd just do a very quick uh, little haul um, on the bed like this, like I uh, used to quite a few, uh, quite a while ago anyway. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'll get on with it. I didn't get a lot, it was just a local car boot. I probably could have picked up a couple of more items, but for whatever reason, I just wasn't really feeling it, and I thought, you know what, I'll just get what, what I wanted to get and uh, come away, really. So yeah, I got this uh, Selfworks plush. Uh, nice and easy to deal with and again that's kind of my running theme with car boots now I just pick up what's easy to deal with I don't even like picking up stuff that I need to test um, So yeah, or like clean or anything like that So yeah, uh, this is a Sophology, Bri not Brian, Neil, the Sofa uh, plush thing um, And yeah, you probably get about £10 plus postage for that So nice little pickup there, I paid 2 quid. Um, I'm happy with that. It's only just a bread and butter item, but I'm happy there. And then I picked up this bundle. Um, basically, she wanted uh, £15 for the figures. So, basically, we negotiated £15 uh, for the figures. She, well, she wanted 20 but I got her down to 15 in the end. Uh, we had done that deal, and then I cheekily asked whether I could throw that in uh, with the bundle, basically, as an extra. Um, it is actually a uh, specific no negotiation technique, if you're wondering. Uh, I don't know what the actual negotiation technique is, what it, like what it's called, but it is a negotiation technique getting to throw something in after you've already done the deal. So I was quite happy that I could kind of um, employ that negotiation technique it's something I've wanted to do for a while. Um, never done Ben 10 stuff, don't really have a clue with it, um, but I know that Steve Green does a lot of this stuff. I know that a few other people have uh, dabbled in Ben 10 stuff as well. Um, but yeah, 15 quid for that. This goes for, as well as well as this, this goes, I think, about 10 quid, something like that. Not major money, um, but yeah, about 10, 12 quid, something like that. I've had it before, and I'm pretty sure I've sold it a couple of times before as well. So yeah, happy with that. So I've got the two cars here. I'm not sure what I can get for these, but I'm thinking probably about 15 quid. Around that anyway, it's not going to be too far far off that now as far as the figures i believe you can sell the figures individually for like five six quid plus postage i'm thinking what i'll do and i've also uh, seen a few job lots on ebay go for good money now if i did this in a, as a big job lot and just whacked it on auction i'm sure to get some good money but i'm probably not going to do that i'm actually going to go down a different route and actually sort of sell them in fairly well organized or fairly themed uh, groups um and then, you know, like, maybe just four figures at a time, four or five figures at a time. Don't quite know what I'm going to charge for each bundle, because it's going to be different for, for each bundle. But, obviously, maybe 15 quid for a bundle of four, or something like that. 15 or 20 quid for a bundle of four. We'll see. I'll have to maybe do a bit more research into that. Um, but some of the figures, I'll be able to get less for in the bundle. Other figures, I'll be able to get more for. There might be a few in here that... I don't know about this guy, um, I think he's called Humongousaur, um, but I don't know whether that would be worth selling individually or not, because it's a bigger figure. Um, I did actually watch Ben 10, like, ages ago. I was really, really into Ben 10 when I was younger. It was a little bit old. Uh, I was a little bit old for it at the time, but I, I still loved it. Um, so, yeah, I remember this guy he used to, um, like, I'm pretty sure he could, like, transform into things. So, like, he could put his hand on a car and then he'd, like, transform into the car. Um, and then you are, I don't know what this guy's called. I'm, I, I think it's something like Heat Wave or something like that, but he was pretty cool. And then there was another one I really liked. It was like a dragonfly. He's in here somewhere. Not that guy. That's like the tree guy or something. Uh, anyway, there's dra there it is. Dragonfly there. Um, and then you've got a water guy. I think he's called like Swamp something. He was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so there's plenty of figures in here. Like There's a good, good array of figures. Good little bundle. Unfortunately, there wasn't any Omnitrixes in here, which were a bit annoying. We've also got these bikes, which I don't know about the value of them, but they're probably worth selling individually. Or maybe, you know, as a pair. Might do them as a pair. There is a figure that goes with that bike in here somewhere. I can't, I can't see it at the moment, but it's like one of these little Ben 10 figures. Now, this Ben 10 figure, I'm pretty sure, is from the teenage version of the show. They did like a, um, as far as I'm aware, they did 
a series of Ben 10 when he was actually 10 years old, or meant to be about 10 years old, and then we did another series later on, which was a teenage series when, where he was like meant to be about 17, 18 or something. Um, well, he could, I'm pretty sure he could drive a car at that point, so he must have been like 16, 17, um, because I know in America that obviously it's like 16 when you can drive, I'm pretty sure, anyway. Um, but yeah, so um, I was more into the teenage version, but uh, yeah, quite happy with that. Nice little bundle of figures. Uh, don't know about these things, but I don't know, I'm going to have to do some more research into them. Oh, and then I remember this guy as well, which is like, meant to be like a super strong guy, but it looks like this figure's not in the best of condition, unfortunately. Um, but most of the other ones were in reasonable condition. Remember that animal guy as well. So yeah, that's it guys, just a very, very quick uh, haul. Uh, obviously I didn't get that much, so I thought I'd just quickly uh, get them out on the bed and uh, just show you very quickly. So I'll leave it there guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. See you very soon guys. Oh, and also very quickly, I just got this uh, van in there as well, but it was on the floor, so don't know whether there's going to be any value in that, but probably going to be something in there.